forever, one of the biggest problems with workers' compensation is it pits, it tends to pit the employer versus the employee. The, and it, it, and a lot of times, you know, I've had people that have worked for a company for 25 years, and to them it's like a family, and now they get hurt. And they didn't intend to get hurt, they didn't go out and try to get hurt, they're not faking anything, yet they, they sense when they get hurt, they're no longer a family, they're now an outcast, and, and even considered by the employers a lot of times to be a villain because they're seeking workers' compensation benefits. And it would help tremendously if the carriers, and the, well not the carriers, but really the employers, because most clients don't know who the carrier is, but at least they, they know who their boss was, they may know who all their bosses were. And if they never hear a word from those guys, what do they think? They think those guys don't give a you-know-what about me. I hear it, I mean, I hear it all the time, and it's, it's the absolute truth. Most people want to work. Any level of work that you, that you do, I mean, that, any, that a person does, uh, it, it becomes a part of their life. That's what they are. If you're a construction worker, then you're a construction worker. If you're a plumber, you're a plumber. That's what you are. That's your identity. Um, so it's, it's, when that's taken away from you, and I have had cases, for instance, with a UPS worker, UPS driver, makes a good living, he drives, but it's a hard work. Well, if that guy blows out his knee, drop, jumping out of the back of his truck, and he can't go back to that job, it's devastating, and it's devastating for that person. And workers' compensation doesn't take that into account. It really doesn't take that into account. It's if, if, if you can't go back to doing that job and your employer doesn't have any other job for you, well, too bad, so sad, you know, we don't really care. I mean, it's un unfortunate that that's the way it is, but unfortunately that, that is the system as it currently exists. And, uh, you know, I've had, you know, people don't realize, or a lot of people do, that, I mean, there are, uh, there are people that do blue-collar uh, work that make a very nice living for themselves and their families. And those are the people that are hurt mostly by workers' compensation. I mean, if you're an attorney or a doctor, you're rarely going to get hurt and miss time from, from work and, and, and file a work comp claim because, you know, because we don't do anything, we don't do any hard work. We don't, you know, we just don't do that. But people who do, um, you know, those are the ones that are most uh, typically affected, you know, by the workers' compensation system and involved in the work comp system. And they got just as much to lose as, as I do or, or anybody else.